Hello everyone, this is Frank DeMora and you're at my prophecy site if you have gotten my email, my update via email and if you come to my YouTube channel and you'd like to go over to my prophecy site where I incorporate much uh, other news besides what you're seeing on my YouTube, please go to BibleProphecyMan.com and uh, this is what it'll look like when you get there. Now I'm going to be showing you the December 15th of 2011 uh, site here that I put up the post and I'll show you why. I'm going to scroll down here and come up to a prophecy. You'll see a map and this map is a, an Old Testament map. And you'll see Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39. This is the prophecy about the end times and how there's going to be a, a war uh, between Israel and many nations that will be coming from the northern quarters as it says in Ezekiel chapter 38 and also in chapter 39. We are specifically told that the, this attack will originate from the northern quarters or from the north. So this is what it's going to look like. You'll see uh, Israel is right here. Uh, and we have these other nations that will be coming against Israel in the last days. Now, when you go to my site, you'll you'll see the. Uh, let me bring you to my other my post here today, and uh, I will show you the list of the nations. Now, you see that Russia is going to be leading this attack against Israel, and please. Uh, forgive me if I, I'm repeating myself, but I do have new people that are coming to my site every day and they may not know about this Ezekiel 38 war, so I need to quickly explain it. But you'll see that uh, Russia is going to lead the invasion. You'll see that Iran, which is the Old Testament, Persia is going to be a major part in it. And then you'll see the northern Iraq, you'll see Afghanistan, Ethiopia, Sudan, Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, Algeria Morocco, uh, and many of these other nations, Turkey, which would be incorporated uh, modern day Turkey would be, uh, which would include Armenia. Now, when this attack takes place, I want you to specifically keep this in mind because we're told in Ezekiel 38 13 that there's going to be young lions that will be in the area when this assault happens. And uh, Ezekiel 38:13 tells us that Great Britain, which is the lion, I mean, this is what we'll be reading from Ezekiel chapter 38:13. Now it doesn't say just like I put it here, but I'm, what I've done is show you who this uh, scripture or who the scriptures are actually talking about. So we see that Tarshish in the Old Testament is Great Britain. And when it's talking about the young lions of uh, Great Britain is known as the the lion. As a matter of fact, their insignia. And I'll bring this again back to my other prophecy site here. This is the insignia for Great Britain. You'll see uh, definitely the lion there. And so when we look at who we're talking about, uh, we see from the scriptures that the young lions. Now keep in mind the United States which broke off and Canada and Australia would be the young lions because they're a break off of the main lion of Tarshish. Now, okay, Tarshish being Great Britain. So what, what does this all mean? Well we know that during the end times during this invasion the young lions will be in the area. Now there is some developing news today that is pretty interesting I believe. And this is why I'm bringing it to your attention. Now, <clears throat> first of all, one of the one of the articles that came out today that talks about Tehran, and obviously this is Iran, and this particular article is talking about the nuclear problem that the world is having with Iran, because Iran is trying to get a bomb that no doubt they'll try to use against Israel. It says, Tehran media trumpeted the news Sunday, January 8th, that Iran's deep underground uranium enrichment site in Ferdo near Qom goes stream soon, thereby crossing another line in its face-off with the West and its weapons program. The head of the Iranian, Iran's economic energy organization uh, for 
Abesi Divini told told the the Cahen Daily, twenty percent or three point five percent of four percent enrichment uranium can be produced at this site. Now this this is really dangerous stuff because this is the stuff that they'll be using to put a bomb together that no doubt that they'll want to use against Israel. And of course you have De Israel's defense minister Ehud Barak warned that in a number of interviews the US media that once the Ferdu plant becomes operational Iran's nuclear bomb programs will become immune to military attack. In other words what he's saying this is for is because uh, they need to do something before it goes into effect, which means there's wars, a uh, rumor of a war, an attack. Now, again, in another article, and you'll see that it, here at YouTube, you'll see that these articles are right here. Uh, let me move it over here. You'll see that there, there's links. So when you go over to my website, you'll be able to click this link and read the whole article. But Defense Secretary Leon Panetta on Sunday. Uh, said that the U.S. would act if Iran would develop a nuclear weapon or close the Strait of Hormuz. Panetta, speaking to CBS Face the Nation, said that Iran started developing the weapon U.S. would act. So again, here we have more talk, chatter about a war. And uh, we know uh, that war is coming because that's what it says in Ezekiel chapter 38 and also with the war of Psalm 83. So we know that there's going to be two Middle East wars before uh, the tribulation breaks out. It says, I think they need to know that. If uh, they take that step, they'll be doing it. Uh, they're, going to get, they're going to get stopped. Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, Martin Dempsey, appearing with the Defense Secretary, said that he uh, he wanted the Iranians to, to believe that a U.S. military strike would wipe out their nuclear program. I absolutely want them to believe that's the case, he said. Panetta did not rule out launching a preemptive strike. So again, we see the wars, uh, at least the, the, the rumors of wars. Now, this is pretty significant, I believe in prophecy. Now keep in mind that I just showed you one of the young lions uh, is the United States. United States of America. And you see the warship here that's moving towards uh, obviously the uh, the Straits of Ramuth. And you'll see the, the subtitle uh, The Strait of Ramuth, the world's most important choke point for oil shipments has become the contentious issue between the U.S. and Iran. And on Sunday, the U.S. warned that there would be consequences if, if Iran closed the Strait of Amuth. So we know that if they try to do this, there probably would be war. Now, what is very important here, listen to this. Development of or deployment of thousands of U.S. troops in Israel, a start of a a war against Iran. Now I'm not going to read this whole thing because of time constraints here, but please read the article because what it's showing you here is you have thousands of United States troops. All right, United States troops. What does this mean? Well, going back in here, you're going to see uh, the break off of the lion, right? which is the United States, the young lions, and now you're going to see that these young lions are in Israel, or they'll be going into Israel. So, what I'm showing you here is that uh, because of what the scripture tells us, that you know during this Ezekiel war, the young lions will be in, in the theater area of this attack, and obviously the United States isn't gonna have enough men to stop millions of Islamic soldiers rushing down in on Israel as it says and shows us in Ezekiel chapter 38 and in 39. So knowing that we have the United States now going in to theater uh, in the Middle East, this could be very, very significant in uh, Bible prophecy. And I don't believe that it is a coincidence that the young lions of America are now going in 
to Israel because I believe that the days are coming. We're getting much closer to the Psalm 83 war and we're getting set up for the Ezekiel war. Uh, so there's a lot of different things that are taking place and uh, you really need to, to see what's going on. Now, outside of another prophecy here, let me just go into uh, Luke 21.11 because Jesus told us in Luke 21.11 that we were going to see great earthquakes. Now in 2011, we had many of these great earthquakes and we've already started into the brand new year and I'd be, now I'm beginning to list these great earthquakes that are coming this year and the Solomon Islands just had a big quake, a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake and when you go to my site, you're gonna be able to scroll down as I said before and you'll be able to read all of the uh, uh, article and then click on the link if you will and you can read the entire article so thank you for allowing me to come into your home and help you to keep on watch for these last days and again please if this is the first time that you've come to my site I'm just asking you to do this you can go to my website and once you're there take advantage of my book please this is the book the last chronicles of planet earth it's up to date 2012 and when you scroll down there's a link right there you'll see it now the new link is uh, November or the uh, January 2nd 2012 uh, book please keep in mind that this post that I was showing you today was December 15 2011 thank you very much and God bless everyone and I'm praying that my work my dedication uh, would would actually help Open your eyes to how close we are to seeing our loving Jesus Christ appear for his church.